fresh from the post delivery, an Einscan Pro HD, and I'm going to show you how to unpack it, install it, use it, and optimize your results. So, first things first, we're going to unpack the new scanner. And um, this is just um, one of the last Pro models that are based on the old housing of the Pro series that was, let's say, for a long time the basic developing path for hobbyists from Shining. But actually what many people don't know is that this scanner even was certified by German VDI norm 2634 what guarantees some standard of uh, quality regarding your scan results and what as well uh, was really nice I guess it's the packaging that they made for the scanner in the last years so if you open up you have first your information about uh, the content what's in there your solid edge license what I think people should really notice what benefited this license is for standard users and how much you save money using it there is a calibration board we will use later on an installation stick for your software and of course the adapter for connecting the scanner to your electricity grid so we lift lift it up and up here you can see the scanner itself And uh, yeah, let's get it out and make it scan. This is the calibration board stand and a uh, few more things that you will have here is um, that mount for mirroring screen. your basic markers that you need for covering your object and that's it actually so let's unpack it so installing your device on your computer is something rather easy um, we are going to start um, starting the PC of course then we will have um, to connect the power supply to the scanner with no power supply the scanner will not be recognized and of course no drivers will be installed and we will not be able to proceed the low voltage um, connector on the scanner will be connected here on the USB cable from the scanner itself you might see it better here and afterwards you are going to plug in this USB cable into a USB 3 port you see that it's a blue USB plastic inside in that port and that means USB 3 is needed and uh, just make sure you are not connecting to some mouse USB 2 port on your laptop if you're using that of course we need um, the connection to the grid So the transformator has here a common grid cable and we are going to connect it to the local grid. Next thing is to unpack your calibration board 
there's some additional plastic to keep it clean and safe. Of course, we will not need it. For angle calibration, there is needed this plastic holder later on. You see here is white marks where it will be placed following the instruction from the software. So, just keep a little bit space. So after uh, logging into your PC and um, plugging in your USB cable, you will be hearing um, the sound of the USB connection done and there will be the shining uh, cam from the scanner will be installed. If you are a customer from our rental service, don't mind, you will not have to do any of that. You will receive everything done and resolved. You just have to start to scan and you will skip that part of installing the software. For all of you who are purchased a new scanner, you are going to plug in that USB stick that was delivered with the scanner and you can take the software that's on that stick on your desktop. It makes the installation much faster because um, the installation speed copying from a USB stick and uh, installing on the hard drive is much slower. There is another way you can get the latest version of um, the software directly without uh, taking the one that's on the stick that might be older because it was um, packed there into the stick when the scanner was packed in, in China so it might be uh, some months old or it's not at least the latest version so you can as well go and um, search in your Google or whatever search engine for um, shining Iron Scan Pro HD software download. So afterwards, you will find a link mm, to the Shining uh, support page where you can select your device and that you want to download the software for and then you just click the button for software and you will be able to download the latest version of your software for your scanner that you selected in our case it's the pro hd after maybe you will have to fill out your data once again for your registration and um, you can start the download So after you downloaded the latest version on your desk or you have copied the stick version on your desk, just click two times on the installation exit. And you might have to confirm um, some configuration of your uh, antivirus software or your firewall on your PC that uh, the network from Shining is allowed to access. That means uh, you will be exchanging calibration data or that as well the camera is uh, from a legal source that you accept and that's it mainly during the installation process there will be as well installed um, data banks and drivers on windows side and some new let's say functions you will just have always to confirm in the terms of use if you want to use the software of course you can deny it but they will be necessary and uh, without it will be not possible to work with the software in itself so in my case again the software um, is asking that uh, it is uh, okay for me that the uh, activation server is accessing the outside network that's absolutely fine for me and after all of that we are ready to go you can use your scanner now if you installed um, the software from the stick and not over the internet you uh, should um, close the software 
and open it again it will automatically um, make um, that software run an update check and if there is a, a newer software for your ion scan then it will be automatically downloaded to your PC it will take some minutes because it's some hundred megabytes and after the download is done there will be asked for uh, installation confirmation and of course you will confirm that because normally that newer softwares bring free of charge really cool updates of functions as well or optimize errors that had been there in older versions and um, I recommend you if you install the software from your stick just close that software restart it again and after it's restarted and it's installing the latest version just as well wait some time your PC it will take some minutes because it's some hundred megabytes and after the download is done there will be asked for uh, installation confirmation and of course you will confirm that because normally that newer softwares bring free of charge really cool updates of functions as well or optimize errors that had been there in older versions and um, I recommend you if you install the software from your stick just close that software restart it again and after it's restarted and it's installing the latest version just as well wait some time until um, there is made uh, that uh, firmware update on your scanner itself there is a, another system running an independent operational system running on your scanner hardware itself it's in the handle integrated uh, hardware that's running its own software and um, you shouldn't disconnect meanwhile this is happening if there is a new firmware update uh, applied that's really important because it can lead to problems in restarting the scanner or work with it at all it's possible of course if you did that totally wrong and you you are stuck there call your local support there is a possible way to resolve it in most of the cases but just don't do it so after um, you are sure that you are on the latest version i recommend to do the calibration you can of course start to calibrate your scanner before um, but if you um, did install the stick software and uh, you are not sure that there will be applied a new as well firmware on your scanner it can quite often happen that you will have to recalibrate the scanner after uh, the latest firmware is installed so just keep it um, to to do the, the calibration until you're sure that you're running the latest version of your software and your firmware and if this is done you are ready to go